Hello, this lesson discusses a very particular serialized item, vouchers. In the previous lesson about serialized items, we have learned that there are two ways of creating a serial number. For today's lesson about vouchers, I'm going to show you how to generate your own serial numbers. Let's have a look. First, as usual, we are going to create a standard item and then I'm going to change that into be a voucher item by using this option here voucher item. This enables the serial tab which I will discuss a little later. First of all I'm giving the lookup code, then a name, a description, and very important for vouchers you have to assign the department for voucher and if you have you can also assign a category. I'm going to leave the price empty because I want to let the customer decide for how much the voucher value is going to be. Now I'm going to the Serial tab. To generate your serial numbers, click on Add. Choose a prefix if you wish to. Enable the option to automatically generate serial numbers. Enter the amount of serial numbers you want to create. For example here 500 and the number you want to start with. Usually we start with one, but if you have done 500 vouchers, for example, in the past, the next number would be probably 501. So in my case, it will be number one. Just have to click OK, and as you see, all your numbers are generated. You can also record the status of your vouchers, for example, if they are sold, and if they are sold on an account to a customer, you would see the account number here. Please remember, only because I have 500 numbers generated doesn't mean I have 500 vouchers available. I still have to go to the Inventory tab and add the quantity on hand information. Now, before I save my new item, I need to set a very important option, the one that asks the cashier at the till for a voucher value. Therefore, I have to go to the Options tab and I have to enable the option must enter price at the POS. I say OK to save my voucher item. Now I'm going to switch to the POS and I'm going to sell my voucher. As you can see I can now choose my serial number. You can choose any you like, usually I start on the top and next step is going to ask me for how much the voucher value is going to be. And you can see it's that easy. Thanks for watching, your PSS team.